in continuation of our conversation around preparation for retirement, I welcome you to Delight Channel. Timak is still my name, and today I would like to continue something I started last week. Uh, last week, I started talking about the second of the three umbrellas that I said I will explore pre uh, preparation for retirement from. The first had to do with the cognitive preparation. The second had to do with the behavioral preparation, which is where we are. And the third has to do with the financial preparation. Under the behavioral preparation, I already mentioned too. If you miss it, please go watch so that you can know what we've said about behavior towards oneself, behavior towards the family. So today, I want to move on to the third type of behavior you need to pay attention to, which has to do with behavior to your colleagues and the people that you meet in the course of work. This is one layer that you need to pay very close attention to because it has multi-dimensional implications. Um, as you probably would have figured out, a big part of our active conscious life is spent in the workplace. That is why work is more than just making money. There is something therapeutic about work. If you've ever been out of job, you realize that one of the biggest challenges or issues you would have faced is that lack of of productivity that waking up every day and wondering what do i do with myself today i'm not saying money is not important but i'm saying there is more to work than money and therefore as a conscious productive adult you will have spent a big part of your time in the workplace either with those you work with directly in your unit or the extended family of those that you work with by way of direct interaction or by those who even work for the same employer but you really never had anything to do together or those that you meet either as customers, as clients, as regulators, as superiors, as juniors, as those that you are just in the same industry, in the same economy, they are critical to how your retirement goes. I'm sure your mind is already racing in different directions. Let's delay, it. Let's delay it a bit. Imagine your level, your type of behavior with those that work with you as subordinates or as seniors or as colleagues that you have direct interaction with. If you remember retirement, what will happen? You'll be more sensitive how you deal with them. Because that young man that just came in last year, that came in last month, may be the MD of the organization when you will need something from that company. When you remember retirement, your behavior will be very different. Those colleagues of yours, they may move on to other organizations. They may be in a position to help you facilitate this, arrange that, organize this. If you get too full of yourself right now while you are still working, you already have a clear idea of what you can look forward to when you move into retirement. The partners, the clients that are currently coming to your organization, you are the payment officer, you are the procurement officer, you sit on a lot of power right now that make a lot of people defer to you. When you remember you are going to retire, and you may then need to come back to those guys to provide service, then you begin to think differently, cognitive preparation, and then you begin to behave towards them differently. You will not always be on that seat. I'll say that again. You will not always be on that seat. You will not always wield that power. And when you remember that the day you stop wielding that power, the day you stop sitting on that seat, the type of relationship you get is a function of how you have handled yourself while you were there 
then from today you begin to do something about retirement as touching your behavior towards the people you meet in the workplace the work relationships are very 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 important why as human beings we are relationship beings everything is about relationship if you still want to be relevant you will take time to invest in your colleagues in your subordinates somebody has said it before that one of the roads to immortality is to invest of yourself in people you will be there for them you will not abuse your power you will not be overwhelmed with any situation where you think it's all about your career and you don't care about people when your career has ended your relationship with people may just be starting if you remember this and you handle it properly you will be in a position to retire feeling important feeling relevant because a note will open the door anytime your services may still be required without you going to ask or beg they will be the ones running to you when they're doing something big they want you to be a part of it they want your voice around the table they want your your opinion on their decision in fact when you handle your behavioral preparation properly particularly in the workplace it can go a long way to even extending your career life because in the in the true sense of the word you may never have to retire until you are finally retired into your casket and that is why your work relationship is very important which is why when i started by saying that you are not too young and you are not too old wherever you are right now maybe you are a few years to your to your retirement and you have not done a good job of relating with people at work you can still do something about it now you can call them you can apologize you can make amend you can you can you can fix whatever can still be fixed and you can express your regret about the ones that cannot be fixed with yourself you can start getting in touch and saying wait a minute I need to start getting ready for this because it's inevitable with your family you can call your children you can call your wife you can call your husband you can call those who are closely connected with you because one day those relationships may prove super critical to how long you eventually live and how well you enjoy your retirement time i wish i had more time this week to talk about this but i got to stop now so your behavior towards the people that you work with or you meet in the course of work is so important to how well you retire you need to pay attention to it starting when right now next week i will move on to your behavior with the society and that should about wrap it up for us on the behavioral preparation before we then move to the one that everybody usually focuses on which has to do with what the financial preparation are you enjoying this are you learning something please feel free to share somebody needs to hear this forward to them it's an awakening call it's a aha moment it's a self check so that we can do something about it and live on purpose thanks for being here this week i hope to see you next week and until then tim Mark is still my name the the channel is still called DLI development empowerment and leadership initiative and whatever you do don't ever forget that all we are trying to do here is what make a little difference have a fabulous time out there bye